Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Little Scout and Brandy and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Scout's ability to understand and respond to her formal on-leash obedience commands. The little tiny correction and lots of motivation that we give the puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Brandy is using a regular six-foot web training leash and she keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in her right hand. That leaves her left hand free to give any correction that's needed and the only correction that we give is a tiny little tug and release on the training collar and that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Scout is going to come home with her very own training equipment and you're going to be taught how to use that properly during your follow-up training session with Brandy tomorrow. Now Scout is sitting very nicely at Brandy's left which is where all of our obedience training is done and unfortunately due to the inclement weather we're again videoing indoors and the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper leash walking and the command is scout heal. Now at this point scout has a job to do and that is to maintain eat, maintain pace with you when walking and staying even with your left leg. So that when you're walking her in your development and you stop to cross traffic or you stop to talk to someone, she should be walking nicely and when you stop she should sit automatically without being told to wait for her next command. And believe it or not, she thought this was the stupidest exercise to practice in the house that she had ever heard. She couldn't understand having to walk on a leash indoors. But she's got it now. And she's doing great healing skills. If you notice, she stays even with Brandy's left leg. And each time Brandy stops her feet, Scout sits and waits for her next command. And Brandy's talking to her, keeping her focused. We have to remember this is an infant. And for an infant puppy, this is a great job. Now the next command that Brandy's going to demonstrate is the sit-stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command, and it is a one-word command to stay. Your long sit-stay when you're practicing at home is about 30 seconds, and you're going to slowly, over the next couple months, work up to a three-minute long sit-stay. You're going to lengthen out your time, and you're going to lengthen out your distance. And there she is in all her glory. When Brandy returns back to her, she walks all the way around her in a counterclockwise motion, ending up back where they started with Scout at Brandy's left. She praises her for a good job, and they take off healing again. Good girl. Good job. Sit, good girl. Stay. Nice sit, stay. Brandy walks out to the end of her leash and faces her. She lets her hold that because we're lengthening out the time and the distance and this helps to develop focus and maturity. This time Brandy's going to call her. Scout, come. Come, good girl. And count, good Scout girl. should come and sit. Scout, Not jump all over you. Good back girl. to heel and back good. sitting. She really is doing a good job. It's raining outside. If it's not snow, it's rain. So we Stay. make the best of, of the situation, and she's doing great with it. So you leave her in a sit-stay, you walk out to the end of your leash, you turn to face her. When you call her, you do use her name. You lighten your tone of voice, and you make it a happy command. Scout, come. Good girl. She praises her on the way in. Scout comes right in front and sits and gets a little treat for a good job. Now the next commands that we're going to be demonstrating for you are your series of down commands. The first one is the down from a heel position. So always have your puppy seated first. Left open palm straight down toward the ground and the one word command to down and stay. Your long down stay when you're practicing at home, you're going to start out at about a minute and you're going to slowly work up to five. When Brandy returns back to her, she walks all the way around her, just as she did on the sit stay, returning back to heel. She praises her for a good job and she heals her right out of that. And they're going to demonstrate that again for us. So remember, you're always going to have her seated first, down. left open stay. palm, straight down toward the ground, the one word command to down and stay. And you're going to work up to five minutes. 
And that's going to take you a couple months because of her age. She's watching TV because I forgot to turn it off. This time Brandy's going to call her in. Yeah, come. Good girl. And she comes right in and sits in front of Brandy, and then she goes back to heel. Good girl. Good girl. And back sitting. Good job. Yeah. No. And the last command that we're going to be demonstrating for you today is the down from a distance. So with her seated, you leave her in a stay, and you turn to face her. You're going to use your right hand to down. give the command. <laughs> and she plays dead. <laughs> she fell over, but it's a down, and we'll take it. That's your down from a distance. Now, we have demonstrated for you the heel, the automatic sit, the sit stay, the down from a heel, down from a distance, and the come. These are the formal basic on leash obedience commands that Scout learned while she was here at school. She has done a great job. We'll have a lot of written information for you, too, when you come to get her tomorrow. She's a sweet little puppy. We've enjoyed every minute of having her, and we want to thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.